Do you want to learn how you can create this beautiful grid layout design in WordPress? Then this video is for you. Because today I'll tell you two ways how you can create a grid blog layout for your WordPress website. Now navigate to your WordPress dashboard, head over to plugins and add new. This is the first way which we shall complete with the help of a plugin. Now search for the plugin Guten Post Layout. Just enter Guten Post and it shall load. Now click on install now and activate the plugin. Now head over to pages, add new and create your new blog page. Just enter blog as the title. Now before we continue forward, you must make sure that in your WordPress settings you have disabled that the post should be shown on your home page. For that go to settings, reading and select your home page displays a static page. Now your home just make it anything and your post page do not select any posts page for now and click on save changes. Now we'll edit our page. Here click on the plus icon and search for post layout. Over here in the layout settings select grid and now here are a few customization options for you to create your own grid layout. In the grid one skin one you'll get a layout like this. In the skin two you'll get a layout like this in a magazine style and the skin three looks like this. The featured image with the a title, the meta and author and the publishing date. Here you can configure the columns if you only want one column or one post per column, two posts per column or three posts per column. Here you can select the gap between each post. When you reduce this, both of these posts shall come together and when you increase this, they shall go farther away. Here you can even select a custom image height. Or you can just leave it blank. Let it be default so that all your images will fit this. Now in the query settings select posts and select all categories. If you want to show posts from all categories on your page. If you want to show posts from only one category then select the category which you need. Here you can select the number of posts you want on one page. And here you can order by date and in the descending or ascending order. In the additional settings you can configure if you want to show the featured image or not. You can display the post author or not. The post date. You can disable both of these. Also you can disable your excerpt and read more button. Now you can also configure if your links open in a new tab or in the same tab. Now there is one cool feature in this plugin and that is the filter settings. Here users will be able to filter the posts on the basis of categories. For example, if you have 10 to 20 categories, then you can add a filter over here and users can select which category they want to see. Now here you can also select on which basis you want to filter. Do you want to filter it on the basis of categories or tags? Also you can select pagination settings so that buttons like 1, 2, 3 divide your blog page. You can select your alignment etc. Now let us publish this page. Let me copy the URL view page. Here we can see the custom layout which we made. So this was the first way. Now with the help of this plugin you can display your posts even in slider form or list forms. For example if I want to create a slider then I can select the list layout type as a slider. Now there are various skins to choose from and now you can also customize the slides to show the gap, autoplay and the navigation. The others all are the same settings. 
So this was the first way to create a grid layout on your website. The second method depends upon your theme. For example, the theme which I use right now supports different posts. Now you can see if your theme supports this or not. Just head over to appearance, appearance and customize. For example, I use the theme cadence on this website. It's the best theme which allows a lot of customization with unparalleled speed. I'll link to it in the description. It's one of the best themes ever made in the WordPress era. But for this method to work, you'll have to select a blog page in your WordPress settings. For that, again, just head over to settings and reading. Here, select a posts page and save the changes. After configuring the reading setting, just head over to your blog page and now we'll customize it. If you use the cadence theme, then you will see this option, blog posts. Just head over here and select archive layout. Here, you can select how you want to share blog posts. There are three designs available. One is this box layout which the theme provides. The second is this large layout where there is a large featured image and the content is below. And the third layout is this horizontal layout where the image is in the side, side and here you, you can see all your content. So your blog's designing depends a lot upon the theme you use and I would recommend using the cadence theme which is the best theme available on the market right now. I'll link to it in the description. So those were the two ways how you can create a box layout for your WordPress website. I would recommend using the first method as there are more customization options in it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss out on any new video which I post related to WordPress, SEO and blogging. Thanks for watching.